Today on Trico Studios, we check out the Digitech Death Metal Distortion Pedal. The Digitech Death Metal Distortion Pedal delivers some of the most bone-crushing heavy distortions that will pierce through any mix with ease. The Digitech Death Metal Distortion Pedal can be powered by one 9 volt battery or an AC adapter. Knobs. Level knob. Controls the distortion output level. Turn this knob clockwise to increase the output level and counterclockwise to decrease the output level. Low knob. Controls the boost or cut of low frequencies. Turn this knob clockwise to increase low frequency content and counterclockwise to decrease it. Mid knob controls the boost or cut of mid frequencies. Turn this knob clockwise to increase the mid frequency content and counterclockwise to decrease it. High knob controls the boost or cut of high frequencies. Turn this knob clockwise to increase the high frequency content and counterclockwise to decrease it. So this concludes my review of the Digitech Death Metal Distortion Pedal. Now if you're a guitar player that needs to cut through the mix a little bit more because you're getting drowned out by some of the other players in your band or you just need something that's a bigger punch of a distortion, this thing is a gamey ass dream come true and this thing will cut through a mix with steel toe boots. It's just blistering, blistering high end on this pedal. Like, I've never heard a, a pedal scream like this and the game is just unreal. Now this pedal is a little bit noisy which is to be expected with some of the older Digitech pedals but you can always get rid of that with the NS2 noise suppressor or some of the other noise suppressors, noise gates out there that you can buy. So I hope I've been able to help you distinguish if this is the pedal that's right for you or not. I hope I've been able to answer some of the questions some of the viewers have had out there on this particular pedal. Until next time, I'm Kevin from Tricro Studios. Take care.